The Egon Water Hub is a device that almost anyone, no matter their experience, can plumb a water system into their caravan, camper or four-wheel drive. It provides plug-and-play management of hot, cold, grey and drinking water. It's designed to minimise water usage and to minimise the time and expertise needed to install such a water system. This then is the very first prototype Egon water hub. It is, yeah, it's still with the old housing, but this is, this is the first installation, this is the first one that we built and it still works doesn't look great not half as good as the one that we've built now but uh it still works it's still got different fittings in it and everything uh so maybe we should maybe we should tell them what it is what the idea was we've had these water systems built into vehicles and they were relatively complicated they had solenoids for every pump actuation and they worked but they were quite prone to failure. They were hard to install. And uh, you came to me and said, let's make this into something that fits in a box that we can sell. And then instead of using all these electric solenoids, I thought of a way to actually just do it with uh, mechanical check valves, actually just one. What, was, what stood out for me on that system, even though it was pumps here and cables there and all over the place was the fact that when the water came out it was always the perfect temperature as it came out I didn't waste any water at all and the second part was that I could use a separate pipe to collect water from a grey water source and it would go and it would pump through in, through the shower but it wouldn't contaminate my main clean water in the car but because it was so complex it was that when I, that's when I went to you and said, you know all this? We should try and compress it into one product. When we had the concept for it, we went, all right, let's, let's see how it goes. And there that it is. That was the first There's, incarnation of yes, our idea. Yes, it is. Very bulky okay, still. So. so, and then we did. Mm. We compressed it a lot. One of the tricks is that we've got uh, automatic water mixing valve. So you adjust the temperature. And where do you adjust it on that? In here. Okay, we've, we've sorted that. <laughs> yeah, that got a lot better because <laughs> yeah. you know you had to do it in the box first because first we thought this would be great to be installed outside of a vehicle as well. So everything was waterproof. You could have installed it on the back of a canopy, but then we found nobody actually does that. It's not necessary to have a housing that is waterproof. So then we came up with our own housing in the now actual version of the water hub. It's also a lot easier because here you have to adjust the water temperature inside. On the new one, you can actually adjust it on the outside, which I think is a much better idea than yes. that. Uh, but the basic concept is still exactly the same. And that there is the first prototype of the production version and we tested it on the canning stock route. There's my shower. So I turn it on, the green, and there you go, hot water. Almost all it has to do is expel the water in there uh, and the short pipe from the hot water to the actual hub itself. Once that hot water, it's perfect. So water wastage, and that was one of the that was one of the challenges in the design was that how can we make this, because it's for overland vehicles and for caravans, where you don't have lots and lots of water that you can just waste, waiting for it to get to temperature. So the key to success to us was all of these things combined with that water temperature control valve, which makes the system as good as, good as it is. And I'm now going to show you the actual production version. Okay, this is a full range because we like to show off. Yes, the Egan full range <laughs> these are the parts for the water hub you can get uh, the electric kit for it separately because some people like to install this with the switches being in the dash so you don't have to use the switches in here then you've got the full hose kit and the unit itself with the manual that Andrew has made and the unit. I'm actually, I'm really proud of this unit because I think it looks 
extremely cool. It was your idea to do the cut. I did everything else and he just did the cutout. Yeah, that's all I did. <laughs> it's actually what John did, but we're not going to mention that. Oh, heavens, <laughs> don't. All right, well, let's show these nice people what, this, what we actually created here. On the water hub, we have got a hot water output and a hot water input. This is where you connect the water heater to it. So pressurized water comes out, runs through the water heater, back in, and then you got the hot water in here. This is where you put your external uh, input. That is the external pickup hose. And this is where you connect your tank, right on the side here. On the other side, we have got uh, the mixing valve. It is an automatic mixing valve, so if you have got 70 degree hot water in your hot water system, you set this to 38, it automatically mixes the right amount of hot and cold, so you get 38 degrees. Once the temperature in the water heater drops a little bit, it mixes more hot with less cold and it keeps the temperature steady. Then you've got the two outlets here. So you've got your tap water, your drinking water outlet, which will only ever let fresh tank water uh, come through. Even the pumps on the inside, there's two different pumps. Uh, and one section is only for fresh water, which always comes out of the tap. And then there's the shower outlet that uses external water source and tank water source. This is considered dirty water and not for drinking. And then you have got your two uh, switch holes here. So if you buy the electric kit with it, this is where the two switches go for the tank pump and for the external pickup pump. To mount it on the back, we've got mounting holes that are accessible from the inside. So it makes it quite easy to mount this on a flat surface. Another cool feature of this is when you take the cover off, you can actually turn it around and put it on the other way around. So you can either mount it this way around or that way around, depending on what orientation you would like the unit and Egan Water Hub will always be the right way around. Those of you who have used the DC Hub will understand the concept that the DC Hub is one place where you are everything. Everything with a capital E, everything you can think of in your installation that draws anything under 80 amps goes through that. Everything. All the hard work has been done for you. Water hub is exactly the same. All the hard work has been done for you. You just run the pipes, standard hoses, so you can buy them in pipe fittings, you can buy them in your hardware at your hardware store, nothing fancy about it. Once you've got that, anybody can plumb their vehicle. Absolutely, Honestly, everybody. it's so, 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 like the DC Hub, yeah. it simplifies everything. So that then is the switch harness for the water hub. Those are the two switches. Goes into the body of the water hub casing. That is, you just plug it in and then you run that to your, to your battery, straight to your battery or obviously your fuse box. Also worth mentioning is this guy. This is the shower hose kit by Egon. Uh, it's sold separately to the water hub. The idea behind the water hub is to save water. What's the point in that if you don't have a shower rose that is very efficient? So let me show you this. Okay, so if I, it's on off, so I plug it in, it's pressurized, and I will now get a flow of water. Hi. And I can, I can close it off, or I can change that to a very, very efficient shower spray, all the way over to that. And if that isn't good enough, I can pull that off and use that for cleaning duties. Let's see, the car's dirty. That is super versatile and super efficient. Hunter and I started Egon really as it was, it was almost like a fun project. It wasn't a, it wasn't, we didn't initially, I think, have the intention of building a company, creating products. 
But what happened was so organic. We were both building vehicles. I was building vehicles for clients using subcontractors. And I could see where so, much, so many hours were being spent. I thought unnecessarily. And Heine was exactly the same, but he was doing purely electrical work at, um, at Klarman Automotive Solutions. So, and he again was saying, we're spending, how can we save time building these vehicles, building these systems, installing these systems in vehicles? So as we were both doing it, the, the first one uh, was, the, was the DC hub, but this, and then when the water hub came along, it was, well, why did we spend, you know, nine hours installing the plumbing? Now that nine hours is down to three. And this is not an exaggeration because the water hub is simply, once you found a place to install it and the way we've put the bolts and the installation systems, you can, you can install it any way you like, doesn't matter then you just run pipes you just run put a connection on put a plug it in plug it in plug it in plug it in it's it's all the fiddly stuff it's done for you even the electrical work to control the pumps it's done for you it's all integrated and we now collectively save so much time on e each and every build purely because there was nothing else in the world that could do what the Egon products do. And there still is nothing in the world like it. And we make that claim with bold assertion. Show us something like that. Show us something like the DC hub. You will show us products that are similar in some ways, but none that actually do that specific job. And the relay hub is exactly the same and we'll bring to you quite soon a video about how the moment you're using a relay in your electrical system think Egon relay hub why because we've done all the difficult work for you you just run some wires if you're in Australia uh, Perth Pro auto electric parts stock all of these if you want to get overseas, I suggest you go onto forexoverland.com and you click shop, which we send overseas. Actually, they do too, but we're better than that. <laughs> All right, we're done. Fantastic. Cool, it's good Fantastic. that you're laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we've created in two and a half years. It's pretty good. You know, next time I'm going to show you the relay hub. The relay hub is now in. Well, we've got this is the production unit that we're doing our final testing, but you are fitting them to, to vehicles, yeah. and uh, that's that is the next seriously cool thing. Yeah, yeah, it that's, is. That I is, can't wait. That is, we, 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 what we're doing now is we're finding all these interesting use case scenarios for it. Yes. There's, we're going to make a video for each use case scenario. What we found so far works great with the DC hub, which we intended it to, so that works. It's a relay switching hub, it's, yes. just to be clear. But it's also power distribution, because you can also use yes. it together with the battery box quite easily. Power into it, and then you've got power distribution for vehicle-based installations, and you've got all your switching sorted in there. And you can use it really well together with an ARB link system. We've tried that. That works, and it's the perfect extension. It's the one thing that's been missing for ARB link system. And the other thing that works really well is if you have got a lot of driving lights and you want one space to switch all your lights from your start battery, uh, you can use it for reverse lights, driving lights, roof light bars, side lights, and you don't have to have all the relays under the bonnet. You can wire them in the cab. Works extremely well with utes because you can put all the wiring behind the rear seats on the wall, out of harm's way, no uh, corrugate. Uh, Corrugation. Corrugations. Corrosion. Corrosions. Corrosion problems. Thank you. That was the language word. problems. You mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a video on that, and we'll actually put together a whole lot of use case scenarios because I think that's going to be the best way to actually show what that can do. Yes, absolutely. Because on its own, it can be a little bit. Oh, what does it do exactly? And if we show it, it's like 
Yeah. These are easy to show, that's less easy to show. Yes, but once you install it and once you've used it, you realize, wow, that simplifies Again, things simplifies, a lot. It simplifies yeah. things massively. Because everybody knows what it looks like who's done it before. If you put five relays somewhere and you see all the wiring underneath it, as soon as you're done, nobody understands what's happening anymore. No, absolutely. See you next time. We've got three travel buddies going. <laughs> we have three vehicles, three travel buddies, and they're all. We've got a lasagna. Yours is empty now because we ate the pies. We ate the pies and yours already. Yours got burgers in it. Yeah. But we've only got two beers amongst us. And Cam has got more drinks. Have you? I've got rum and coke. That will do. <laughs> we got ice as well. <laughs> it's just <I> done. done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I packed the precious items away. Are you gonna just pop it into the white car over there?